FRTS News Center in Washington, this is the Two Minute Report. I'm Petty Officer Quinn Litton. On this edition, Dakowitz. Mary Wamsley was in the Pentagon last December to accept the top job on the Defense Advisory Committee on Women in the Services. Her committee reports directly to the Defense Secretary on military women's issues. Ms. Wamsley returned to the Pentagon this month to talk with the AFRTS News Center. Dakowitz's new chair is not new to the committee. Ms. Wamsley spent two years on a subcommittee that examines career opportunities for service women, and she says some career fields that ban women, like the Army's multiple launch rocket system, don't need to. We're helping everyone examine the rationale, uh, and we're, st we're sticking with our position that it's not justified. Ms. Wamsley has first-hand knowledge of a woman's ability to handle a tough career. She's been a police officer for 25 years and says police women and military women face similar challenges. Amazing parallels. Everything from the way the uniform fits to the hours that are worked, the difficulty of breaking into male dominant uh, occupations and even male dominant subspecialties, getting into the SWAT team or onto a motorcycle squad or becoming a canine officer or a range officer. And Ms. Wamsley brings more life experience to this job. She's the daughter of a soldier. I know what it's like to have your father away from home. I know what it's like uh, to miss a birthday because of uh, deployment. So being able to talk with our service people and feeling as if I can help make something better, uh, that's been my favorite experience. Mary Wamsley, the new Dakowitz chair. That's the two-minute report. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Quinn Lizard. On Two Minute Plus, you can learn more about Dakowitz and other Defense Department issues on DefenseLink, the Pentagon's official website.